Hi Leo, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, um, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards what's going on with you in the area of love from November 23rd to November 29, 2020. I've already shuffled the deck. We can just go ahead and get started. I'm going to pick two cards for you and two cards for whoever you're dealing with in love. So let's get started here. First card we have is the card of the lovers. And we have the Ace of Wands. So, Leo, very passionate energy here. Extremely passionate energy. Um, the lovers. There might be someone that you're feeling a very strong, intense, um, karmic soul, soulmate connection with. Um, a fiery connection with. Because the Ace of Wands is fire and passion. Um, this is a new beginning with the Ace of Wands, so this might be someone that you recently met. Or someone that you are rekindling a, a previous fire with, you know. Um, it can be someone that you already know, that you were already in some sort of connection with. Um, and, but you, got, uh, you were out of touch with this person and you recently met again and you are rekindling that passion that you had with them so that's going to be for some of you and for others it's just something new someone recent so like i said it feels very intense very karmic soulmate twin flame energy here um yeah very sexual energy also so definitely um yeah intense emotions coming from your part um let's see what's going on with whoever you're dealing with they have here the eight of wands and the ace of swords so they also have an ace they also have an ace so you have the ace of wands they have the ace of swords and they also have a fiery energy with the eight of wands which represents um yeah, I feel like they're coming towards you very quickly and unexpectedly. And they're coming towards you with a lot of passion. Um, now, the Ace of Swords, though, is a card of communication. So I feel like um, this person is going to come to you this week to communicate something with you. Um, that um, it's like they can't, they can't hold it back anymore. With the Eight of Wands. It's like there's something that they have to get off their chest. Um, there's something that they have to um, tell you and let you know like once and for all. Because I feel like it's something that be they've been holding. Um, and they've been um, reserving. Um, but this week it's like um, you're finally going to get um, the message that they've been wanting to tell you for... For a while. Um, for quite some time. Let's see if we can have another card. To see if there's more clarification here. We have the card of strength. So this is the card of Leo. This is your energy. So yeah. They're coming to communicate with you. With with Leo. And again. This is a card of passion. Um, and intense. So both of you are feeling very intense emotions. Um. And the Six of Cups is here, which is a card of a past connection. So this could be an ex, or this can just be someone that, like I said, you've known from a previous um, time in your life. Um, maybe someone who you had a connection with, but um, for some reason there was distance between you two, and now you are coming back together. So for some of you, this person is going to be confessing to you that um, they've felt um, feelings for you for a long time and they never told you before but this is the time now that they're going to come clean about it and confess about their passion and feelings of love for you. Next card here we have a Queen of Cups. So I'm just picking out more cards to see exactly what it is that they're communicating so that's what I'm seeing. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like they're going to confess feelings that they've been having for a long time. Um, 
And like I said, I'm feeling like this is someone that you already know. So the good news is that you're definitely, um, I feel like you're definitely feeling the same thing for them. So I don't, I'm not sure that they know this. I don't, I don't know that they're aware that you also are feeling the same passion and, you know, um, uh, soulmate connection with them. So it's something that's definitely going to surprise them and that's going to make them happy. So again, this is a very specific message. It's not going to apply to everyone. It's not going to resonate with everyone. But if it did resonate, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye, Leo.